Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're talking all about the new year. What are you going to do? What are you planning for? Let's just talk about it. So if you're in window cleaning and this happens to be the new year, well, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? If it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you enjoy the show. Uh, Hundreds of episodes, years of content. Some of them aren't bad. (laughs) So go back. Watch or listen to anything. It's all uh, anywhere podcasts are available and also on YouTube. If you're working out in the field, throw it in uh, your podcast. Play it. It comes out every Friday. And yeah, listen while you work because why not? Let's be nerds all together. Uh, If you didn't know, though, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com, the absolute greatest place to buy window cleaning supplies, and I, voted on by myself, am the greatest rep that you could possibly have, and I want to be your rep. I want to put your orders in for you, so please, please let me put those in for you. Um, I see some of you putting your own orders in. Don't don't do that. Let me put them in. It doesn't cost you anything extra, uh, but it does get me credit for it. That's how I make my living. And, uh, yeah, hope I give you some content. Hopefully you enjoy it. And if you ever do want to repay me, uh, just let me put orders in. It's that simple. It costs you nothing to do that. But if you do have a couple bucks and you want to buy the American Window Cleaner magazine, that's my magazine. It's been around since 1986. It is an uh, every month magazine magazine. Full color awesomeness shipped to your door with articles and posters and window cleaning goodness. 100% window cleaning and, of course, you get the sticker sheet. The sticker sheet is well known in these parts for being the only sticker sheet in existence or history for window cleaning. Custom stickers every month come in the magazine. Sent to your door, it's 69 bucks. so go to awcmag.com and, uh, yeah, be... One of the cool kids. By the way, if you want to be an epic cool kid, you let me put your orders in and you have a subscription. And there are like tons and tons of you out there. So anyway, okay. Shameless plug's done. I got to do that part just so that it, you know, if you ever decide to support me, you can certainly do that. So that is done, but it is a new year. I am recording this, or I should say when this airs, this is the last time before the new year, the last episode before 2023. If you're hearing this in like 2030, I hope, I don't know that I'm still doing this podcast, but maybe I am. Uh, But uh, anyway, we're going into 2023 and it has been an interesting couple of years, a very interesting couple of years. Uh, If you're in a small business, up until this point, it has been absolutely amazingly accelerated uh, we had all the COVID junk, which sucked for a couple minutes, and then all of a sudden became the best time ever. That lasted for two years, and now we're going into 2023. And what's interesting is that, A, we don't know, of course, what's going to happen. If you're listening to this in 2024, you know what happened in 2023. Maybe some crazy stuff happened. Maybe apes took over and we're all slaves. To, I don't know. But you don't know what's coming, but you can tell how to steer the ship. Stupid analogy, which you guys uh, tend to love and hate. Uh, But uh, if you want to go to California right now from wherever you live, you want to go to 123 Fake Street in San Francisco, California. You could just start heading that way, right? You could just drive west, right? If you're not in that part anyway. But it's going to be really hard to get to where you want because you're not specifically getting there. You're just going in that direction. Most of us do that, right? In business, we just go in the direction. We don't actually know how we're going to get there. But if I type that same thing, 123 Fake Street, San Francisco, into Google Maps, it will tell me every single step that I need to take to get to that destination. So not only am I going to actually get there, but it is going to be the fastest way for me to get there. Now, in the way 
uh, there may be some traffic. I may have to recalculate here and there, right? But I know that as soon as I get off track, I know how to get back on track, right? So that's planning. I'm a huge, huge uh, fan of planning. If you have a uh, plan but don't make a plan, you have a dream. You don't have a plan. A plan means it's out and it's written out, right? So let's talk about the new you, right? Everybody should be improving themselves. If you're stagnant right now, A, you're probably not listening to a podcast. If you are stagnant and you're like, eh, whatever, what is up? No one's going to push you. So this needs to be you. This needs to be like, okay, let's buckle down and change it. Let's, let's do something in 2023. And the first part of it is you having to decide if you're going to be stronger or you want to get bigger. Maybe you want to get bigger and stronger, right? Remember, growth and everything does not mean you need more customers. That doesn't mean you need more customers. It means you need to be healthier or stronger, right? If you do um, awesome work, right? But you happen to have one customer that happens to be the Biltmore or some real big house mansion. And all you do is that one house, like painting the Golden Gate Bridge, you just start cleaning it, and then when you're done, you go back and clean it. That's cool. Maybe you love it. Maybe you love where you're at in your finance and everything else, but guess what? It's one customer. That doesn't mean you're really strong, right? So that everybody has a chance to get stronger, a healthier company, more profit, increased prices, more customers, right? If you got customers you're still doing and you're making $50 an hour, you should be $75, $85 an hour, a man hour. You can get there. Easy, right? So you can always be stronger. So decide if you want to be bigger or stronger. For those of you who want to be bigger, that's a really big path. And you have to understand that with being bigger, more customers, or being stronger, it's all in re- re- uh, increasing your repeat stuff, right? So we, n- we know how to get there, right? We know that uh, more customers is great, but if you doubled the amount of times everybody you did have did Windows, it would be just uh, amazing, right? So we know kind of getting bigger, we know that it looks like more jobs, not necessarily more customers, more income, more dollars, more all that. But we need to figure out what we want to do to improve. Now, you already know in your head if you're going to be bigger or stronger. You already know which way you want to go. But in order to understand what you need to do, you need to understand what you effed up in. Flunked. What you flunked in, right? So let's look at 2022. And this is just me and you talking, right? I can't hear you. You can hear me. But let's think about it. I mean, really just take a second. You could be working. You could do whatever. But just let's think about it. What did you do in 2022 that you weren't happy with? What was it that you either did or didn't do or didn't do well or something you're just not happy with. Because if we're changing us, we're changing our company, we're changing our business, we're going to do something greater and better, a big part of that is realizing that we had a flaw. We want to change that flaw, right? You guys know that there is a um, New Year's resolution, right? Those have been around since uh, literally forever. I mean, a billion years. Probably not a billion, but quite a while, (laughs) right? It used to be, oh, I'm going to get fat. I'm going to quit smoking. I'm going to, you know, whatever. In those, they find that they have an issue and they want to change that. And every change comes with an issue, right? Even if it's a good thing, you're like, ah, man, I did really well last year, but I want to make even more. Well, okay. So that means that the issue was you didn't make as much last year, right? If you did absolutely everything 
for an entire 12 month period, absolutely perfect, and you wouldn't change anything, well, you're not looking hard enough. Because you should be improving yourself all the time. All the time. It could be, you know, I don't want to, uh, I want to quit smoking, right, for a New Year's resolution. Well, it, you smoked and you weren't happy with that, right? I want to lose some weight. Well, that's because you didn't lose weight last year. I want to get in shape. Well, it's because you didn't get in shape last year. Anything you want to do all comes from something you weren't happy with. So it's up to you to decide what you're not happy with. And there is no wrong reason. There is no wrong answer. There is no wrong anything for change. And everybody is in a different uh, position in their company. Different mindset, different focus. Different, it doesn't matter. I have people... And, uh, you know, I, I talk to a lot of people, hundreds of people a week. And a big thing is what's interesting is that every person goes, oh, well, they're window cleaners and I'm a window cleaner. So I'm going to emulate, copy or look at them to compare. Well, that is nice to see sometimes, but there's not one company that would match another company exactly in their circumstances. Not one. Not in the 75,000 companies that we predict are in the US, right? You may be a company who does more route than commercial. You wanna increase commercial. You may be a company who's making you know, $50 a man hour, but also want to add commercial, but yet your route dollars, you know, you're focused on route. Like there could be so many variables to the business that you cannot take the next company and focus your company or emulate or change or uh, copy another company. It just does not work, right? It just doesn't work. So when you see another company out there, you're in a new position. Don't focus on them. Don't focus on the company because for every one company who is like, oh man, they, they only started like two years ago and they're doing like five times as much as me. Yeah, but for every one of those, 50% are also doing less than you, right? I know companies who within five years under five years actually they broke a million dollar in yearly revenue it's less than that it's like four years they broke a million dollars in revenue not total revenue yearly revenue they made they had a million dollar year in their fourth year of business does that mean that what you've accomplished in your first four years or what you will accomplish in your first four years means anything less than them? No. No. Because success is success. Success does not work based on someone else. I am not successful because I make more money than someone. I am not successful because I have more employees than someone. Success is not comparing. It doesn't matter because there's always somebody more successful than you. So if there is somebody more successful than you, does that mean that you, you shouldn't consider it success? Right? So we don't want to compare ourselves to somebody else, but we want to find our specific issue. We want to find our specific weakness and figure out what we want to change. I know people... Uh, I personally don't drink uh, for not any other reason, not high horse stuff. Uh, but uh, I, I'm keto, so there's very few alcohols. And I've I've gone through a lot of sobriety stuff with friends and people that I know. Uh, and I'm always happy to be the designated driver and all that stuff. I just never did. It's just there's no real reason for it. I just don't. But I've gone through uh, sobriety with three different people uh, as far as just kind of helping them along. And three people have all decided that they had a problem and decided to change it. Now, each of those people was 100% different than the other one. 
if you think there's a problem, and again, it doesn't have to be this, but if you think there's a problem in your company or something you want to improve, it doesn't matter if it's a problem to somebody else. It just matters if it's a problem to you, right? So when we're talking about all this, it just matters to you. So what do you want to improve on? What did you do that wasn't awesome? What do you want to focus on? Only you can answer that question. It could be anything. I'm going to tell you from me, here's the top two things that I would 1000% work on no matter who you are. Every single person who's listening to this. We do, you know, every week we have thousands and thousands of listeners. So there's a lot of you that are listening. And I'm going to tell you with 100% certainty that there are two things that A, you can improve, and B, if you improve those two things, you will blow this out of the water. The first one's reviews, right? Even if you don't know what you're going to focus on, focus on reviews. Reviews are permanent accolades that tell other people to use you. It's advertising that will always be there. If you look up at Google anything, you search uh, window cleaning in my area, you find up those Google places pop up, right? And you see all those reviews. They got 12, they got 23, they got 7, they got none, they got 43, they got 20. If you have 418 five-star reviews, you will be the company that's hired. If anyone sees that, you will be the first person they call. If anyone sees that, you will be the most called person. A hundred percent of those people who see those will choose you initially. Now it's up to you to answer your phone and to give them a good spiel and to be able to connect with them, get them booked over the phone bids, makes it faster, do it, right? But no one is looking and going, oh, this guy's got 400 and 15 five-star reviews and this guy's got three four-star reviews. I'm going to call this guy. No one does that, right? So reviews, you can always increase. Look at companies, nice jobs there, do nice job. Uh, nice job is phenomenal, by the way. Um, not a plug for it, but I think uh, search in the bottom of this episode that you're watching or listening to, there should be maybe, I think, a link to nice job. I think there's somebody who uh, shared a link with us. Anyway, but get more reviews even if you don't use a company to get them get them yourself get more reviews they're permanent reviews are permanent you get a review out there you just keep building on it and building on it and building on it and building on it and building on it no one can catch you if you started a race and you left two years ago no matter how fast those runners are they're not catching you you're two years ahead of them right and the other one is repeat work. And I'm telling you that I beat that. Uh, this, the, the, the interesting thing, and I've done it also, but everybody gets done with one job, right? They do one job and they go, man, that was a, that was a good. Thank you, Mrs. Jones, for everything. All right, let's go find another customer. And they forget about Mrs. Jones. But the big thing about it is, is that she already likes you, trusts you. You've already paid to have her. She's just, she's of course going to say yes. She's, of course, going to use you. You just blew her away. The experience was amazing. She's happy right now. Why not increase your repeat customers? And first off, it starts with just doing somebody who maybe had you used you once or used you once every two years or just used you for the first time. Getting them to do it again is amazing. Getting them to do it again with frequency, meaning once every six months, that's huge. That's huge. You want to talk about these big companies, you're wondering how those guys did a million dollars in year four? The way they do that is not because they got that many customers. Well, my market's not that Of course it's not. Well, I don't have that many customers. Of course you don't. Well, I don't do that. Of course you don't. But the customers that you have, you're not doing as frequent. We provide happiness. How your mindset stops you from thinking, oh man, these guys really want me to do it again, right? Mrs. Jones would really be happy to have our services again, right? If somebody could have window cleaning every month, which I had lots of monthly clients, but if somebody could do it every month, guess what? Every month they're happy. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, they get their house clean. They do all that. 
Nobody needs a house clean. Nobody needs windows clean. Nobody needs their lawn mowed. But they do because they like it and they're happy. Why are you so against having them do it more often, right? First and foremost, I'll get off that. Increase your repeat, increase your reviews. There's a first thing you can go ahead and start. Change your focus from new customers to existing customers. If you're brand new to business, you can't do that. If you've been in business for a little while, do not forget about existing customers. There's a downside. You guys have no roofers make a lot of money. It's known in the industry, especially in uh, things and sales and everything else, right? They make a lot of money. But they make a lot of money with zero repeat. No one who's using a roofing company is calling them for their next roof. It's 30 years for a roof on average. 30 years later, they're going, well, I remember they don't do that. So they have zero repeat customers. Now, they may have referral customers, but repeat customers, zero. Every job they finish, they need to be looking for another job. That sucks. But yet, they're still big companies. They're giant companies, right? You can focus on repeat business. You could have somebody doing it every month. It's rare, but you could. You could have somebody doing it every three months. It's a little less rare, but good. You could have everybody doing it every six months. 75 plus percent of your customers should be using your services more than 75, uh, more than uh, twice a year. That close rate on a dentist close should be that high. If it's not, tweak it. Maybe that's the part you're not happy with. Focus on existing customers. Imagine everybody you had last year. How about this? We'll, we'll say uh, for even numbers, last year you did $100,000, right? This year, 2023, you got a couple jobs on the, on the books, right? Right now, you're slated to make less money than you did last year. Maybe nothing. What if you took all those people and they're all getting it done now every six months? If they are, that means every one of them is doing it twice a year. You took that $100,000 a year. This year, going into this year, you could, in theory, have $200,000 in the books already. Everything you get on that builds on that. Do you see how when you start to focus on existing, creating that, setting up those six months, right? You're filling all that space. You build on top of that. That's how this accelerated growth thing works. If you're scared to do it, then you got you to gotta pull up your pants. You got to tighten your belt and you got to do it. It's not scary. We're providing happiness. People have more of a mental struggle with most things than they actually have a physical struggle. I had a person, this is still sticks with me, and I, I know who the person is in my head. Uh, a person doesn't watch the podcast, so it's not any of you. Uh, but this one particular person said, we were talking about business and uh, call lists and, and contacting customers. And go, no, no. He said, I would never call or send a mailer or email or anything to my customers. He goes, that's just bothering them. What? What? Where, what? Where did that theory ever come from? What company ever, ever did not contact somebody who's already used them? It just makes no sense right? If somebody uses you, they love it. You have happy customers. You have people who you made their day, they're smiling, they're happy, they're great. They had such a great experience with you. What you offer is happiness. We do not want to give that happiness to more people. If the person next to you was on fire, they just went up in fire, and you sold fire extinguishers, it would be so amazing and so needed that you would give them the fire extinguisher. You wouldn't even have to sell it to them. You'd give it to them because you knew that that was so amazing for them. You need to get in that mindset for your business, right? Find out what you're lacking in. Focus on what you need to to get to that point. If it's growth, more repeat customers. If it's strength, find better customers. Increase prices. Build a stronger foundation. Change your focus. 
Repeat customers should be more of a focus than new customers because it's easier to get, it's faster to get, and then any new customers you're getting on top of that, don't lose sight of those, but that's built on top of this thing you've already built. Right? If you think that you need to build something better than what you had, maybe it's reinventing your look. Maybe your uh, talk in the beginning, maybe your uh, pamphlets and your um, flyers and your documents and your shirts and your apparel and your trucks are now wrapped and your gear is brand new. Maybe it's your image that you want to change. Maybe last year, you know what? That old Dodge, man, it broke down a bunch of times. It's just unreliable, right? Maybe that one pole just, God, it's such a floppy pole. It just sucks to use. Guys hate it. They won't you. Maybe it's your internals that can change. Maybe that doesn't even build or change any of your income. But it strengthens as a whole. Going from the worst pole you could have, a super floppy, say, aluminum pole or fiberglass hybrid, whatever. Maybe you go, you know what? I'm going to get a stiffer pole. That does not make you more money. It sure speeds you up a little bit and in turn makes you more money. I can see that. But it doesn't really get you more customers. It doesn't get you more repeat. It doesn't do any of that stuff. It strengthens your company. The new systems. Maybe you get a new system. Maybe you just change the filters. right? Maybe you get a new wrap on your vehicle because the other one's looking kind of dingy. and you know, I don't really want. I can't buy a brand new truck right now. But if I put a brand new wrap on this thing, it'll look like brand new. Right? Maybe I'm putting bins in my truck because that's going to make me more organized. It's going to make me appear better, feel better, work better, and strengthen the company. It doesn't have to be dollars. It doesn't always have to be dollars. It just has to be strength. Right? Maybe reinvent your look. Maybe reinvent your gear, your uh, look, your logos, your... Uh, I'm getting all new apparel for people, right? Maybe I'm putting my logo on more things. Whatever that looks like, now you're talking about core strength. That company I mentioned that's doing like a million dollars in year four, that company blows me away. Absolutely the most professional looking company I've ever seen ever. Not because they make a million dollars. Not because they have growth. It's because all of their trucks are on point. Every piece of equipment is on point. To the point of, hey, we're going to buy a bunch of new gear because these other ones don't match. Like, when you see that company, you go, holy cow, this is the company. No one stacks up. Everybody else is writing, you know, um, prices on napkins. And this company shows up. It's like, oh, that's why. You are who you are. That's why, right? They're so strong as a company that everything else helps to fall into place, right? Do you want to be bigger or do you want to be stronger? 2023, this is your chance. This is your chance to make changes that when it's this time, 2023, we're talking about 2024, you're going to build on this entire year. I know companies and again, you guys know I kind of uh, work with some people. I have companies that do 100% growth years, meaning they double their company in 12 months. Absolutely has happened multiple times. I know multiple companies. And I'm not talking about companies who, oh, well, last year I did 12,000. This year I'm hoping to do 24th. No. There are companies out there that are doing 100% growth. There are companies out there who will do 100% growth. This is insane. It doesn't mean you need to go for that. It doesn't mean that you even want that. What it means is that growth is possible, strength is possible, huge changes can be made. Remember, when you know where you're going, it's easy to get there. A plan without a plan is a dream. Right? Anyway. Well, I hope your 2022 has been amazing. I hope that you uh, got everything that you wanted uh, this year. I hope you have fire still left in your belly for next year. And I really hope you're using me for your window cleaning supplies. Oh, that was a bad, shameless plug. Anyway, but that's what I do. Please, please 
call me, give me a virtual high five. Shoot me a text at 862-312-2026. Just be like, yo, Jersey, everything. Everything's in my cart, man. Run it. I would love it. I would love to do that for you. So please do let me do that. And uh, get yourself a present. Get yourself a New Year present, America Window Cleaner Magazine. Go to awcmag.com. Get a subscription. Get the most epic and amazing magazines ever been in the magazine world for window cleaning. And get it. Do it and, uh, yeah, do all of that. Be absolutely amazing. But more importantly, until next week, go out there and be epic.